Our first guest on season two of Beyond the Game is Claire Ruff. Claire is a two-sport athlete for us in basketball and lacrosse. Claire, thanks for, thanks for being a part of this. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So let's talk about how you got started in basketball. Um, well, I just got started in like sports in general pretty early, just from watching my older siblings and dad play. And that's kind of how I got started with basketball, just like watching my older brother Garrett play in the backyard. And my dad would take us to the Y on weekends just to like burn off energy. And I'd always like playing basketball. And so I started like my first official year was travel third grade. But all throughout my like childhood years, I knew that was the one. <laughs> that's awesome. Would you, would you start first, lacrosse or basketball? I started basketball first, but they were really close. It was because I just had to look up to Lexi and Garrett, and that's what they played. So yep, you've like had two thing. siblings. Uh, both are playing at the collegiate level lacrosse. Yeah, Lexi, where's Lexi now? She goes to Vermont. Vermont, and, yeah. and Garrett's at uh, Cornell. Yeah, that's awesome. So, which one or two words to describe you? Um, I'd say passionate for sure is one, and then determined. Just because I'm like a very like fiery animated type of personality. And when I find something like I believe in, I kind of just like put everything I've got into it. And I just like don't really stop until I succeed. And when I succeed, I just want to succeed again. <laughs> so, yeah. So this next question is perfect timing. You're coming off a game. It's at Sutherland. You're tied at 44 and you hit the game winning winning basket at the end in, in a really high pressure situation. So what mental tools do you use to kind of handle that pressure? And so you're able to perform at, at, at a time like that. Um, well, I think just the thing that always grounds me is just like, I'm super competitive and I want to win. So it's, there's no time for the nervous energy just because I want to do everything I can to win. But like to be able to like have the guts to like, like act on that, I guess I just try to prepare as best I can in the off season so that I'm confident in my abilities and especially just like staying in the present, like not worrying about a shot I haven't taken yet. And just like trusting my teammates, trusting myself. Easier said than done, but I try. <laughs> it seems like hitting big shots is a rough family trait. I don't know if you remember the one Garrett hit <laughs> oh, several years ago, almost full court. I think it made it to, uh, what it made it to, to national media, but I remember that. Yeah, that was awesome. That was great. <laughs> I was, that was amazing. Garrett beats me on the game. That, <laughs> that one's better. <laughs> So that's one of my favorite memories. What's your favorite memory of uh, being um, an athlete in HFL? Well, I just, I love any close game, but honestly, basketball wise, I think two nights ago might be one of my favorites for sure. Just like it was the definition of a team win. We kind of hung around until the last three or four minutes. Then Caroline Smith and Tegan Cam had some big foul shots and it was, it was awesome. It was a, totally a statement game. I'll never forget it. That's awesome. Fav uh, best, best advice anybody's ever given you. Um, ever since I was younger, my dad would say to me, he'd use my nickname. He says, uh, be the best Claire Bear you can be. And it's just like, it's awesome. It like, it's like a me versus me. It just simplifies everything. Just do the best you can do in whatever you do. And yeah, I love it. So you're a two sport athlete. How has participating in sports and, and, and HFL athletics helped you in other parts of your life? Well, just playing sports just correlates with everything, but I feel like especially it just has helped me on weather, like the ups and downs of life, like dealing with failure and not giving up, but also not beating yourself up about it. And then also handling success and knowing that that's not the end goal that like, you don't get a 100 on a test in school and just be like, oh, hey, I'm just going to mail it in the rest of the quarter. Like just, you've got to keep going no matter what. So when you're not doing your sports, what are some other things you like to do in your free time? Well, I'm really close with my family and my siblings are like my best friends. And ever since I was younger, we are always doing something like playing outside in the backyard and the pool, whatever. And so I love spending time with them. And I also enjoy reading and writing. So, yeah. So who's inspired you? Like who, who are your role models? Well, my parents. And then I'd say my older brother, Garrett, he's like, the perfect person you want to look up to when you're growing up. He's just like a great friend and person, just everything. So yeah, I'd say my parents and Garrett. Good choices. <laughs> you mentioned you started basketball at third grade. So what yeah. advice, now that you're older, what advice would you have for younger athletes? Um, I'd give them the advice my parents gave me. And it's just every time you step on the floor, make sure you're having fun and you're getting better. 
it's the most important thing. If you're not doing one of those things, then why are you spending the time with the sport? And I still go by that now that I'm older, because if I'm not having fun, why would I play? And if I'm not getting better, it's a waste of time. So yeah, that's <laughs> the most important. Last question. What are your final thoughts? What do you want people to know about Claire? Um, geez. Uh, I'd say just that the most important thing to me was being a part of the team and I just was a team player and I tried to do everything I could at the end of the day to help the team, whether it was getting a bucket or just like hustling around in practice or motivating other people that like, no matter if I succeeded or failed, I tried to do what I could for the team so the team could win. Nice. Claire, you're a great competitor. I want to wish you luck in, in both basketball and uh, lacrosse. And you, you know, you're a huge part of both of the success of those programs. So Thanks for being such a great student athlete and thanks for giving us a chance to get to know you a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>